great. Hey guys, I hope that you're doing well. Lots of fun stuff to do today. All right, so we're gonna start out by putting the beat in our body and starting out with Button Factory. So stand up, please. All right, you guys ready? Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a Button Factory. One day, my boss came and said, hey Joe, are you busy? I said, no, he said, work with your right hand. Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a button factory. One day, my boss came and said, hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, no, he said, work with your right hand, work with your left hand. Hi, my name is Joe, Whew. and I work in a button factory. One day, my boss came and said, hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, no, he said, work with your right hand, work with your left hand, work with your right foot. Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a button factory. One day, my boss came and said, hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, no, he said, work with your right hand, work with your left hand, work with your right foot, work with your left foot. Hi, my name is Joe. And I work in a button factory. One day, my boss came and said, Hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, No. He said, Work with your right hand. Work with your left hand. Work with your right foot. Work with your left foot. Work with your head. Hi, my name is Joe. And I work in a button factory. One day, my boss came and said, Hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, no, he said, work with your right hand, work with your left hand, work with your right foot, work with your left foot, work with your head, and work with your tongue. Hi, my name is Joel, and I work in a bottom factory. One day, my boss came and said, hey, don't, are you busy? I said, no, he said, work with your right hand, work with your left hand, work with your right foot, work with your left foot, work with your head, and work with your lung, and work with your whole body. Hi, my name is Joe, and I work in a bottom factory. One day, my boss came and said, hey, Joe, are you busy? I said, yes. Whew. Take your seats, please. Good work. I hope you guys got moving and grooving. Whew. Let's also get our brain thinking that music language. You remember what to do? Okay. When it's my turn, microphone's pointed towards me. When it's your turn, microphone's pointed towards you. We're really trying to work on echoing Mrs. Teague's back so that we would get comfortable speaking in all of these different rhythms that we've talked about, okay? Today, I'm gonna try something a little different and I'm also gonna add in a rest, okay? So if I add in a rest, it might be a little tricky because I'm gonna go like this. Make sure you keep that rest in there, okay? Right? Here I go. Ta, 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 Toddy, ta, 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 di, ta, di, ta, 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 di, ta, di, ta, di, ta, di, ta, ta, di, ta, di, ta, ta, di, 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 ta, di,
ta 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 okay cool how'd you guys do okay is it getting easier each week i certainly hope so okay now today we're going to test your listening skills and your thinking skills and do some activities with practicing toddy and ta and rest and seeing if we can match them up based on what we hear. I'm gonna turn on my screen and I'm also gonna zoom back into my board so you can see some rhythms that I have made. I'm gonna zoom in as best as I can. There we go. All right. So you can see it says across the top, what do you hear? Now, if we look at them, we know that we see ta's and rests, right? Pretty simple. So before we do anything, let's get our brain to know what these say, all right? If we look at number one, let's try reading it together, not clapping it, just saying it, okay? So read it together with me, all right, second graders? Here we go. Ta, ta, rest. Ta, got it? Now let's look at number two and read number two. Here we go. Ta, rest. Ta, rest. Okay, got it? So we took a second and we read the rhythms over. Now, here's the fun part. I'm going to clap either number one or number two. You have to listen to see which one do you hear, okay? So just a second, think about what I just said. I'm going to clap either number one or number two. You have to figure out, is it number one that I'm clapping or is it number two? When you have your answer, you're gonna show me one or two, but you're gonna show it in your secret spot by hiding it, okay? Because we do want this to try and be your own thoughts. I know this is something new for us, and it might be a little hard to start, but the more we do it, the easier it's going to get. So really try to not look at other people's. I know how it goes, I can still see. I want you to think for yourself because your neighbor next to you might not have the right answer, okay? Let's read them one more time together, and then I'll clap, and you have to tell me which one you hear. Let's read number one. Here we go. Ta, ta, rest. Ta, okay? Number two, let's read that one together. Here we go. Ta, ta, Good work, all right. So now, second graders, listen carefully. I'm not saying it, I'm only going to clap it. Here I go. All right, so remember you're showing your answer in your secret spot, either one or two. I'll do it again for you. Listen carefully, here I go. Do it one more time. Here I go. All right, reveal your answer. Hopefully everyone had a number two. Get your hands in play position. Let's read number two together. Here we go. Ta, rest, ta, rest. Good work. Hands back in rest position. Let's look at another one. Okay, let's read them first together and then we'll figure, I'll try and see if you can be good listeners, okay? Number one, just say it along with me, all right? Here we go. Ta, ta -di. Ta. Okay, 
Let's do number one, saying it one more time together. Make sure you're involving yourself with me today. Okay? Saying it, here we go. Ta, ta, di, ta. All right, good. Number two, it's a little different. Be careful. Saying it with me, careful of the rest. Here we go. Ta, ta, di. Okay, those rests, there's more in there, so be careful. Say it with me one more time. Here we go. Ta, ta, di. All right, same thing as before. Listen careful as I clap. I'm gonna choose one of them. Your job is to show one or two in your secret spot. I'll clap it three times for you, all right? Here we go, second graders. Here I go. Okay, that was number one. Remember, if you have your answer, show it in your secret spot. Here's number, here's the second time. All right, here I go. Okay. You should be thinking tas and toddies as I'm clapping. Last time, here I go. All right, go ahead, reveal, take a look around. How do we do? Did everyone have number one? I hope so, pretty close. Let's get in plate position. Let's all say number one together and clap it together, all right? Here we go. Ta, ta, di, fast. Ta. Cool. All right, got a couple more of these we're gonna try. All right, let's read number one together. Just reading it, not clapping it. Here we go. Ta, di, ta, di, ta. Okay, read number one one more time with me. Here we go. Ta di, ta di, ta. Okay, oh, now if we look at number two, it's very similar. Be careful. Let's say number two. Here we go. Ta di, ta di. Toddy, fast. Say it one more time. Here we go. Toddy, toddy, toddy. Okay. Now, the tricky part, listening. They're almost exactly the same, except number one has a ta, number two has toddy. Be careful. Here. Uh, I'll do it three times. Here I go. Okay. If you have an idea, show it in your secret spot. If you don't know, that's totally cool. Let me do it again. Here I go. Okay. One last time. Here we go. All right, now before I say to show your answers, get your hands in play position. Say the rhythm with me this time as I clap. You don't need to clap, just say it along with me. Here we go. ta di ta di ta so what did you hear first, or second graders, excuse me? It was number one, okay? Good work. All right, here's another one, right? What do you hear? Let's say number one together. Here we go. ta di ta di ta ta Say it again with me. 
here we go. Ta di ta di ta ta. All right. Number two. Say it with me. Here we go. Ta di ta di ta di ta. Ooh, again, very similar, but right here they're a little different. Say number two with me one more time. Here we go. Ta di ta di ta di. Ta. All right. Ready? Listen careful. Here I go. Ooh. All right. Second time. Here I go. One last time. Here I go. Say it with me as I clap. Here we go. Toddy, 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 ta. It was number two. Good work, second graders. So part of being a good musician is being able to listen and hear and match up what you hear, okay? All right, so speaking of that, we're gonna have a little practice because music isn't just toddies and ties. Usually they're, they're matched up with words and songs, right? So I need your help. We're gonna match the rhythm to the word. So here you see we have toddy, here we have toddy, toddy, and then finally we have ta. Our job is to figure out which word goes with each rhythm. So let's start with the top word, school. Play position. On the count of three, let's clap and say school. One, two, three. School. There is one syllable, right? School. So which Rhythm has one sound. This one's pretty simple. Our ta has one sound. So we're going to draw a line from school all the way down to our ta. Okay? Let's look at the next word music. Play position. Clap and say music. One, two, three. Music. How many syllables did it have? Well, let's say it one more time. Play position. Clap and say music. One, two, three. Music. That's right. There's two syllables. So there's two sounds. Which rhythm that we have left has two sounds? Toddy or toddy toddy. That's right, second graders. It's just toddy, right? Toddy had two sounds. Which now, if we look at the last one, you guys are pretty smart and you know what, what rhythm it's gonna be. But I still wanna do this together. The last one is Mrs. Schuster. Play position, let's clap and say it together. Here we go. Mrs. Schuster. How many times did we clap? Well, let's do it one more time so you can really think about it. Play position. Say it again. Here we go. Mrs. Schuster. You're right. There was four sounds. And if we look at toddy, toddy, there's four sounds there, right? So you're going to take your, your we're going to take a line and connect the two. Now, I'm having us do this, second graders, because with the rest of class today, you are going to do a similar activity with a worksheet. Let me pull it up, okay? And it's called Autumn Rhythm Matchup. You'll have just enough time to get through this, and then if people get done super fast, you might get to watch one of my silly music videos that I made this spring called Jenny Jenkins. Right now, let me walk you through the instructions. It says Autumn Rhythm Matchup. First of all, put your name on the tap, OK? 
okay? Now, if I scroll down, you can see it says, draw a line from the autumn words to match its rhythm. So your job is to do exactly what we just said. For example, number one, say falling leaves. How many sounds did that have? Falling leaves. There was three. So my job is to look and see which one of these rhythms has three sounds. And then I draw a line from the word to the rhythm that it matches. Okay? I would use the strategies that we just did. Maybe say and read the rhythms first and go, oh, this is a ta and a rest. That means there's just one sound. This one has two ta's. Oh, there's two sounds. Okay? Use those strategies to help you out. So there's some words on the top and on the bottom. Do both sections. Try your very best, okay? And hopefully, like I said, if you get done real quick, you might be able to watch my silly video, Jenny Jenkins. All right, good luck, second graders, and I wish you well, and I will see you next time.